Hi, I'm Simon from Warm Glass and on our website you'll see some basic programs for firing bullseye glass there in the knowledge base section of the website. Uh, if you download the up-to-date up ones it's always better because we just update them every year and um, it's better to have the newest one. So on the firing schedules there's quite a lot of information but fundamentally it's fairly easy to, to put a program together so I just want to explain to you in this video uh, how a program works. So a program, all programs are fairly straightforward. You have an up ramp, a hold time, an up ramp, a hold time, a down ramp, a hold time, and then a down ramp. So that's what a program looks like. Now the first part of an up ramp will be a temperature to take it up to where the glass starts to get soft. So we go up at 222 two, two degrees C an hour and what that is doing is trying to get the glass up to a temperature without cracking the glass. That's all it's got to do is get up to a certain temperature uh, without cracking it. Then the first set point that we go to is 677 degrees C. Now, 677 is important because it's just when the glass is starting to soften and this is where all the bubbles get squeezed out of the glass. So here we soak it um, and we put a hold time of 30 minutes in there. Okay, and that is where we're, we're soaking uh, the, the glass. So it settles down over uh, the base glass and it allows the air to come out. Now that is a segment and the next section will be a segment as well. Once you've learned that first bit temperature hold time, everything is made up of segments. So the segments are what builds a program. Uh, it makes it e slightly easier to understand a bit. So the second bit, the glass is softer here, so you can go up a bit faster. So here we go up at three, three, three degrees centigrade per hour and we're going up to 804 degrees centigrade which is the bullseye full fuse temperature and then we're holding there for normally about 10 minutes now you can hold for longer or you can hold for shorter depending on the effect you want what this bit's doing is it's making the looks of the uh, of, of what you're making so if you want something with soft edges, you go for a longer hold. If you want something with hard edges, you go for a shorter hold. If you want something even uh, sharper edges, you can bring the temperature right down to a tack fuse. If you want something that's really, really soft or moving a lot, then you can go for a higher temperature, to, uh, like casting temperatures and things like that. So then you're coming down again from 804. And here we put in 9, 9, 9 degrees per hour. Now, of course, the kiln can't actually come down at 999 degrees per hour, but it will come down as fast as it can. So in some kiln schedules, you'll see that explained as AFAP, as fast as possible. Or, on some programmers, it can be zero, which means that it comes down at as, as fast as it can or it can also be full. Uh, most programmers, you program in 999 and then it will just say full on the, uh, on the programmer. So 999 degrees per hour takes you down to uh, 482 degrees centigrade. Now that's the annealing point. The annealing temperature for bullseye glass is 482. So you're always wanting to bring the glass uh, down to 482 before you anneal. If you anneal higher, the glass is still soft. If you anneal, anneal lower, you've already passed through the, the annealing point. So at 482, you're annealing. And then this time here will depend on the thickness of the glass. If you're doing six millimeters, then it's, uh, then it's one hour. Okay, if you're doing something that's got different thicknesses, it might be two hours. If you're doing something that is really thick, it can be up to about 8 hours or even 12 hours. Um, so that's another segment. 
and then this is just the cooling se section after that. So in this program we go uh, 83 degrees centigrade to 371 uh, degrees centigrade and then that's the end. So there's no hold time, it's just the end of the program. So that's how a, a four segment program is made up. Segment one, segment two, segment three, segment four. Segment one here is all about getting the glass up to a temperature, allowing it to soften slowly so the air bubbles can come out. Segment two is about getting the glass up through the divot point quite quickly um, to a temperature where the glass is going to be soft and it's going to make the shape that you want it to be. Segment three is about coming down as fast as you can, again through the divot uh, point um, to 482 where you anneal it slowly. And that's soaking or annealing or holding and that is just making all the glass being the same temperature so that you don't end up with stress cracks in the, gl in the glass. And then this section here will depend on the thickness of the glass, but 83 to 371 will bring a uh, six millimeter piece of glass down to room temperature in a good way. Below 371, the glass is hard. All it's got to do is, is cool as slowly as the kiln will cool it or as fast as the kiln will cool it. You don't really want to open the kiln until it's well below 100 degrees centigrade. But that's the schedules. You'll find the information on the website in the knowledge base. I hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching.